Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we've got a bit of a fun one. I enjoy doing these type of videos every once in a while. We're doing my top five list for the most forgotten heroes in the game. Now, this isn't going to be heroes that just need a buff, although a lot of them could do with a buff. They're just heroes that, like, you don't even, you don't hear about much. Like, they're not annoying to fight against in campaign specifically. They're just, there's no chatter about them and they just feel left out. So, let's get into it. Now, before I get started on my list, I want you guys to pause the video, put your list. I want to see who you guys think is forgotten. Just like look through the hero list, the portraits, and go, wow, you're like, like just, just the ones that you browse over and you don't even acknowledge because you don't even think about them anymore. So just put down your list and see what we get. But here we go. Getting into my list, number five on the list is going to be Forks. Now, Forks is on this list. He's a bit of a strange one because he's still fairly strong, but he used to be in the early days when it was like the light barry, the light barry, the light bear team was like the team for the quote unquote late game progression, which is now like mid game because of the extra chapters that we've got. Like he was a staple in that team. Um, he was absolutely fantastic. Everyone used him. He's still really strong. Obviously that banish um, and stuff like that. But just in general, I just feel like his general vibe, like I, I don't hear, he just like, he just floats there. People know he's okay. They know he does his banish. They know he can remove buffs and debuffs. But he just sort of... No one talks about him. He's just lonely in the game at the moment. So Forks is number five on the list for me. Still a very strong hero in my opinion. Just not used as much and not talked about very much anymore. And by the way, sick design. Like, I've always loved Forks' design. I find the Light Bearers in general to be very boring designs. But Forks definitely gets an A plus for the design. He's absolutely wicked. I just wish there was at some stage in his animations he'd get that whiskey glass in his hand and like throw rocks at people. Uh, the rocks of ice. But anyway, that is my number five. That is Forks. Moving on to my number four on the list. And that is going to be Drez. Now, Drez is an interesting one because he sort of dropped into the game. It was like, cool design, new Mauler, bit of a Q-bone type thing going on. Um, cool, he's, a, he's one of those agility heroes that starts at range and then moves into melee. Um, it was a bit of fun. You know, he's cool in the uh, Abyssal Expedition when you're doing the Ranger tree. But besides that, I mean, the, the, the chatter went zero on Drez. I haven't heard anything about him since then. I really do like his kit though. Like, like for a cool, unique factor, I like the fact that, you know, he does start at range and he throws rocks at his enemies. Um, and then when he uses his ult, he comes into melee and just starts wailing on them. Um, look at his little, like, it's not even a slingshot. It's like a little, like, sack. Like, what do you even call that? What do you call that thing that he's holding in his right hand where it throws the rock? It's, the, it's like just a bag on a string with a rock in it. It's wicked. Um, but yeah, then, he, you know, he's got his rollout where he's going to roll and get out, get away from danger when he drops low. Um, generate that energy. Come back with his ult. Then, you know, steal some life and stuff like that. But I don't know whether it's just tuning or skill set he just he, he doesn't seem to work fantastically and you don't hear too much about him so that is going to be my number four drez moving on to number three on the list and that is cirrus now cirrus i feel like the whole reason cirrus dropped off was because they changed his waves like a year ago they used to be sharks that went across the screen if you remember that say in the comments sharks because like he was one of my favorite heroes in the game at the very start. He put like watery sharks across the battlefield and hit his enemies. Then they just turned it into normal waves. Really, really sad. Um, but Sirius is one of those ones where he can sometimes be annoying in campaigns. So sometimes you hear people complain about him. No one rates him very highly anywhere else. I do did used to have him built on my um, my Gwyneth account for the synergies with the knockbacks and stuff like that. You can get him from the lab store. No one gets excited when they summon a Sirius. No one like. And he does have a pretty cool signature item um, where he increases his max health and he starts low, but you put him with a Rowan, um, he takes a little bit of damage, drops below 50, he gets 
tanked up and he's got very very high effective hp and stuff like that like pretty solid like decent control as well has some aoe um but yeah it's just you don't i i haven't heard anyone get excited like i've heard someone get excited for just about every hero in the game or like really enjoy them but not really anyone that's like man i built my serious i'm pumped probably because he is a tank as well so tanks lose that spark factor because um well he he's in the warrior tree i still consider him a tank um i, I like i get ooh, maybe i should test him with the um, warrior artifact um but yeah even though he's in the warrior tree i i consider him more of a tank and they don't get the the glory like he's not doing a cyrus thing where he comes in and wails on the damage but um but yeah very 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 forgotten hero unfortunately because he was cool the big poseidon dude i want to get the other animation that they had in really early where he had like the shell arm and stuff like that i reckon that was wicked so let's see if we can get that in anyway that was number three moving on to number two on my list bit of a dress situation with this one and that is oscar i think it's because he's really mundane looking I know that's going to tilt some people because some people really like this type of design. But like I said, light bearers, they just, a lot of them have pretty just mundane designs. Like, <laughs> look at Belinda. Look at Rosaline. I just, this guy, when he came out, people were talking about him like he was going to be busted. Um, and like, he was like, he is actually really good in the early, 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 early stages of the game. Um, but then as we got into the late game, he just sort of fell off everyone's radar and like I said, like like everyone else, because that's what the list is, forgotten. Everyone sort of forgot about him. Um, no one really asked me to have him on the wish list when we do summons. He's just sort of sits in the back there. I mean, his combat design, I really do like the whole idea of throwing the knives, they scatter across the field, then he can pick them up and slash his enemies. Um, but obviously it's just not scaling perfectly. There are some niche teams that he has been slotted into to get some functionality, but overall, you know, Oscar, who is he? <laughs> that is Oscar. Okay. Now on to number one on my list. I think, I feel like most people would have guessed this one by now. If like the fact that this unit hasn't come up, but the number one on my list is going to be Isabella. Isabella. I really want her to be good because she's got the best animation in the game. If we go here, can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, that was it. That was it. This. This is like my favorite. Uh, don't ask me why. That is my favorite attack animation in the game. I really, really want Isabella to be awesome. Um all single target damage um when we look at her abilities her ult can really shred you um she attacks the weakest you know she increased i just i don't know what it is like and and the problem is when you say when like the only time you hear about isabella is when someone says isabella is bad and then there's always someone that goes no no she's really really good but besides that, you don't hear anything about her. Now, I definitely think she does need a buff. I would love to see her get a buff and be competitive. Um, and the, the whole thing was like, like early on, people used to say, yeah, but she replaces Shamira in the late game. I don't see it. I don't see her being a valued like top 25 hero in the end game. At the moment, that's just my personal opinion. But um, she's one that like no one like she's she's really forgotten and i feel bad for her because she's got the best animation in the game and i really i know this isn't like heroes that need buffs but i really wanted to get a buff because she's way too forgotten and she's got the sickest animation in the game and look look at this look at this even like the when that is on fast animation too it is so fast and it's really cool and the other thing look at her right arm look at her right arm even it gets like a glow on it and stuff it's there's detail in that and it's really sick and I love it, but she's forgotten. So Lilith, make us remember. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to be for this one. Let me know what you think of my list. Look, tell me it's trash. I get it. It's cool. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.